Welcome back. Mm -hmm. I'm Virginia Webb of MountainHoney.com. That's MTNHoney.com. I've been entering honey shows for more than 25 years and received more than 100 first place ribbons uh, from honey shows all over the world, including two best honey in the world awards from the World Honey Show sponsored by the Appamundia. This is the last of our four-part series of preparing honey show entries and I'm going to be showing you how to pour a beeswax block for show. And for this demonstration, we will be pouring a two-pound block of beeswax. Beeswax is produced from the bee's own body. There are eight wax glands under the bee's abdomen which the wax is formed. When the wax is first made, it is almost transparent in color. Pollen and propolis gives beeswax its color and smell. Good quality wax will have a wonderful aroma of honey. The color most judges will be looking for in beeswax is straw or canary yellow or bright orange. The best wax to use for show is capping wax, and those come from your extracted honey. Before preparing your beeswax block entry, the first thing you really need to do though is read the rules of the honey show. Many honey shows require a specific weight like one or two pounds or more for your beeswax block. They may also say beeswax blocks need to be two inches deep or more, or they may not allow a specific design like this design block itself. Again, it's best to read the rules carefully before preparing your entry. Materials you're going to need to get started are about two and a half pounds of first rendered beeswax that we're going to break up and put into a pot. You'll need a double boiler and I use an old pan and a tin can as my double boiler itself. You're going to need a pan for your form for your wax itself, a straining container, a plastic container that will be cutting the top off, and then I'm also going to use as my strainer nylon cloth in order to strain my wax. This is part of an old nylon curtain that I use, but you can also use pantyhose and you'll need to double those two or three uh, thicknesses for that. You'll also need a small um, level and I also have a scales here to weigh the wax. What I do not use is a microwave or crock pot to melt beeswax and I use no color or scents in my wax. I only use natural beeswax. If you're using your kitchen, be careful not to spill beeswax on the stove or floor. If possible, you may want to use a hot plate to melt the wax. Now let's get started and break up our wax. I have about three pounds of wax in here and that will be enough for us to, to start melting. Now that it's almost melted, I use a stick to see that if it is completely melted. I don't want to stir the wax at all because if there's any honey or foreign matter in the wax, it will sink to the bottom. The wax is very light. It will float to the top. I'm only going to pour off that top part of the beeswax itself. While the wax is melting, you'll want to get prepared to pour the wax. First, take your mold container and your mold release and spray a generous amount of mold release all over the pan. Place the pan in the oven. Also have your level close by. You want to center your pan in the oven and make sure that the pan itself is level in the oven. I will now turn the oven on to about 110 to 125 degrees Fahrenheit just to slightly warm the pan. You can also use a styrofoam container um, or a flat surface to place your pan. Just make sure there is no air flowing over the top of the wax. This will cause ripples on the top of your wax. You'll also want to get your strainer ready 
and I've cut the top off of my container here using my nylon strainer. I have doubled this, set it over the top, and use a couple rubber bands to secure it. Now it's time to strain our wax. You want to be careful holding this because it is very hot. I'm going to be pouring or straining a little more than two pounds to make sure that we have the correct weight. Remember, if your wax block is underweight from what is required, then they will deduct points or even disqualify your entry. Now it's time to pour the wax into our form in the oven. I'm ready to pour the wax now. And I'll place a small piece of tin foil on the bottom of the oven to make sure I don't have a spill. I want to pour it evenly and do not let it splash. I will also turn the oven off now, and now we will let the wax block set for 8 to 10 hours to cool. The reason why we put the beeswax in the oven or in a styrofoam box is so that it will cool very slowly. Beeswax that cools rapidly will have high shoulders or often very long and deep cracks, and also will become sunken or concave on the surface. This will easily disqualify your entry. Now it's time to remove your beeswax block from the pan. You want to turn the pan upside down and the block should release easily. If the block does not release, place it in the freezer for about 10 or 15 minutes and then the block of wax should come out very easily. We also want to check to make sure the weight is correct. It needs to be either 2 pounds or slightly thereover and it is exactly 2 pounds 3 ounces. To polish your wax just before the show to give it a wonderful shine, take a silk or nylon cloth and gently buff over the out surface of the beeswax block itself. Thank you for watching. This is Virginia Webb of MountainHoney.com. That's MTNHoney.com. Make all your honey and beeswax items honey show quality. Thanks for watching and have a honey of a day.